Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Artemis ROM um, for the HD2 or the LEO as some people call it um, it's quite close to stock ROM so if you want a ROM with good stability for everyday use then this is quite a good ROM as it uh, it's retained most of the stock features as you can see the lock, str lock screen is the uh, stock lock screen and Windows Mobile you also have a stock sense with uh, stock tabs as well um, it doesn't come with cookies home tab mod so you'll have to install it yourself <coughs> which I've done here um, it comes with quite a few apps built in it does come with the latest uh, builds of most things like the HTC uh, text interface or the SMS uh, interface like so um, I can't remember what it's called I think it's called yeah it's a secure box here uh, that's quite a requested feature um, I think that's sort of like a backup SMS thing um, so that you can have your um, text and your MMS whatever backed up securely it comes with a few toggles as well um, like the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi and the Vibrate toggle it comes with the Opera browser uh, 9 not 10 so you have to install that, it comes with Office Mobile 2010 it comes with Facebook <coughs> one of the most or the best feature uh, in my opinion is the Artemis Center which is a special feature of Artemis ROMs it comes with a handful of settings that you can change and then back them up to your SD card so if you want to flash the latest ROM then you can just load all those settings back onto the ROM so all the settings are back as they were before um, I'm just going to go through some of these uh, you can enable vibration on the calculator you can change what comes up in the task manager you can change the menus, the HTC scroll so how good the uh, scrolling is, how fluid it is um, you can change the graphics driver um, you can enable haptic feedback for Opera um, you can change the lock screen um, album tweaks, you can change the memory size for that, uh, you can change the, uh, the flashlight and you can just change a lot of stuff, you can change which is quite helpful, quite useful the uh, data disconnect time because as most of you know Windows Mobile keeps your data connection always on which can be quite annoying if you don't have a contract if you're on pay as you go then you can rack up a big bill um, <coughs> it does also come with data controller I believe I can't remember if I installed that but I'm sure it, I'm sure it does um, if I go into tools it comes with whip to snap SMS search flashlight and some other stuff uh, this theme at the bottom here is one that I set, it comes with the Artemis um, ROM, it's called Artemis Green Black, uh, also has the task manager here where you can close tasks and stop processes and stuff like that, if you go to the top left you get this uh, sort of settings panel that comes down you can also use it, you can zoom in, which is quite a helpful feature. Uh, then, if you tap in the middle somewhere, you get the normal notifications menu. Um, you also get uh, the voice speed dial, so you can dial people's numbers through that. And um, I believe that's about it, but 
Yeah, if you want looking for a stable ROM, it's pretty stable, pretty quick, beats up quite fast, uh, close to stock, so there's no, well, hardly any bugs, glitches, whatever. You won't fa you find that your phone won't freeze up as much as the other ROMs, um, as it is fairly close to stock. And yeah, I'll leave the uh, download link in the description. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Um, if you want to check out uh, some cool stuff, head over to my blog, www.96headway.com, or you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash 96headway.